Hello, everybody. This is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Gumbo, and over there we got Christopher Graves. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, our show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker, 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 414-800-7585 or visit their website at hockeylockermilwaukee.com. While you're on the internet looking at their website, you can go over to YouTube, click that subscribe button and get not- and uh, hit that bell so you get notified every time we upload a video on YouTube. Yeah, let's try to get our numbers up. We're three away from 50 people. Let's make it happen. All right. So today, the Predators took on the Columbus Blue Jackets for the first or for the second time in 24 hours. It's literally been 24 hours to a tee. They played them yesterday at two. They played again today at two. Yeah. And uh, for the second game in a row, we had UC Soros in that, which is a good thing to see. And he played good tonight, just like he did yesterday. All right, shots on goal are 29 apiece. Um, Face-off percentage, 54% for the Preds, 46 for the Blue Jackets. Nashville, one for one on the power play. Blue Jackets, 0 for 3. Penalty minutes were 16 for the Preds, 12 for the Blue Jackets. Uh, Columbus had 12 hits. Nashville had 10. Nashville had 10 blocks. Columbus had 8. And the giveaways were 15-10 for the Predators. Why did the Predators give the puck away so much? Well, if you actually look at it, they count giveaways as if you, say, ice the puck and your teammate, does, a second teammate doesn't touch the puck, they count that as a giveaway. So, ah. say, you're on the pop penalty kill and you throw the puck down the ice to get, you know, a change or something, that counts as a giveaway. Yeah. All right. Well, in the first period, Nashville outshot Columbus 11 to 7. Then the Predators outshot the Blue Jackets 12 11 in the second. And then in the third, we had Columbus outshooting Nashville 11 to 6. All right. Dan, take it away. All right. So, scoring in the first uh, is Kevin Steelen. Uh, Steelen's fourth of the year at the 345 mark uh, with an assist from Riley Nash, his third, and Seth Jones, his 11th. Um, Columbus strikes in the first for the last two games and minimal pressure after that from them. Yeah, they really didn't put up much of a fight the rest of the game. Um, then scoring for the Nashville Predators was Nick Cousins, his second of the year. It was nice to see him get on the score sheet. With an yeah. assist from Arvidsson, his sixth, Johansson, his fifth, and that was at the 7.05 mark of the game. This is one of our favorite spots to talk about every time we get to do it. Eli Tolvanen scored his third of the year at 9.44 of the second on the power play. With an assist from Phil Forsberg and Roman Yossi, their tenth. They both had their tenth. Yeah. Uh-huh. What do all three of those players have in common? Uh, They all played for the Milwaukee Admirals. And most recently, Ellie Tovin in the last two seasons. Correct. Uh, We've watched him develop. uh, You know, the first It it was nice watching him. The first year, he wasn't that great. The last season, he definitely improved. And this year showed more improvement. If he can do that every year. He'll have a great career. Yeah, just always improve. That's all you got to do. You can only make yourself better. Hey given, the, hey, given the circumstances this year, he has three goals, so he's definitely improving, and he can definitely play in the NHL if he has three goals. Yeah. All right, scoring in the third, Eric Holla. Holla, holla if you hear me. <laughs> His second of the year. Um. And that was shorthanded at the 1808 mark with an assist from Roman Yossi and Matt Benning. Benning's first point in gold. Yep, and now Yossi's 11. Now, yes. Hollis should have had three goals. He did technically get an empty matter, but Dan, you want to explain what happened and why the referee waved his second goal off? I hate to. Uh... Uh, re retract that, but he should have had two goals. But um, uh, the reason that oh they, yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's all right, it's all right. Yeah. We all have our mistakes. I made yeah. mine yesterday. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And now it was time for me to have mine. But explain why they waved it off. 
All right. So the reason it was wa waved off was because of offsides. Now, they could have challenged the offsides, but with 10 seconds left, up by two with the faceoff technically coming out of the zone, and you put three centers on the ice, and you win the draw, and the game's over anyway. So let's just get out of here. <laughs> you know, it's one of those, you know, we got the game. We know how to how to finish it, finish it. Let's just execute our our plan. And we, they did. And yeah, but honestly, like if this was like a playoff game or something, they should actually uh, challenge it if it was a playoff game. Yes. Uh, now, this is something that me and Chris may have missed during the game. At the end of the game, Max Domi, Matt Benning, game misconduct both. Yeah, I think I. Oh, that was that little scrum, that little fight that happened after Hall got his first goal. Correct. Because Benning literally cleared Dome. Yeah. It was a good hit. It was clean. Yeah, I didn't see anything uh, bad with it. I just saw them like throwing jabs at each other. I'm like, I was kind of confused why they did it, but yeah. Uh, I'm like, dude, you are mad because you got stood up. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. All right, man. All right. Three stars. Goalies. All right, goalies. goalies first. All right, goalies. Uh, in net for Columbus is Jonas Corposalo. <coughs> Siv. <coughs> Still old force of habit here. Um, he stopped yeah, 26 yeah. and 29 with a 0.897 save percentage. Anytime you're under nine, not a good night for you. Well, he did give up three goals, so yeah. All right, in that for the Nashville Predators was UC Sorrow, stop 28 at 29, stop two of two on the power play against him, um, had no shorthanded shots against him and equal strength, stop 26 at 27, had full 60 minutes on ice time with a .966 save percentage, back-to-back -back night starts for him, back-to-back -back wins. Your three stars of the game are Illy Tolvanen, UC Soros, and Phil Forsberg. Phil Forsberg gets the number one star, um, basically, because he saved UC Soros. Yeah, and Soros played good yesterday. He basically had similar stats yesterday. Correct. So uh, it's a really good finish to the week for him. Get it? Hey, see, speaking, of, hey, speaking of us watching people develop, we watched UC Soros develop too. So, speaking and now look at finish. Him. Finish. I want to give <laughs> a, a little bit of kudos to UC Soros' dad. His dad is a referee in the Finnish Basketball League and uh -huh. just refereed his 1,200th game. I'd give him stick tabs if we had sticks. So congratulations, sir. And you want to hear something funny? You want to know his name? Uh, is it PC or is it clean to say on here? It's uh, Pekka Saros. Dude, you're lying. Nope. And tell you, uh, after the after the show here, uh, I want to see proof of that one. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is his his father's name is Pekka Saros. Okay, okay. I uh, hoard the referees and scratches and all that whatnot. All right, your referees were Kyle Raman and Raman No Noodle. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you, you, you stole a joke right before I cracked it. <laughs> All righty. And uh, Frederick LaCour, no Jack Daniels. <laughs> All right. We got Mac McPherson and Tyson Baker, no chicken. <laughs> okay, okay. That's very line. punny. That's very punny, but keep it going. Let's go. <laughs> All right. As the linesman head coach was John Tartarella, no tortilla. <laughs> Nah, all right, now you're just trying too hard. All right. And we have head coach for Nashville, John Hines, no ketchup. <laughs> all right, enough. All right, uh, scratches. All right. Go. Scratches were Scott Harrington, uh, Mikel Gregorico, and Dean Cookin for Columbus and for Nashville. Please play Trennan. Yeah, I'm begging you. Yakov Trennan's a good player. He deserves to be in the NHL, not the taxi squad. I want him on the NHL. 
And Mark Borovesky, day to day with an upper body, I believe broken arm uh, from the photo I saw on Instagram. Yeah, arm and a cast, so. But they have them labeled day to day, so. They're all day to day. We're all day to day, man. All righty. So, with that being said, we will be back Tuesday. Yep, so, for the Predators versus Carolina Hurricanes. Just an update quick on the series between Nashville and Columbus. The Nashville Predators are 5 and 1. Um, they yeah. lost on February 18th. Otherwise, they've won. Um, uh, Carolina, we uh, lost our only game to them. Uh, we will see what happens. Oh, uh, yeah, it's real. We haven't played them since that one. I could have swore we played them at least twice. So uh, we will be seeing you guys Tuesday. I will chat with you guys later. Yeah, thank you for watching. Peace.